Now those are the best dressed animals in the business for sure. All right, it is game time and baseball season is officially underway and the final four is right around the corner this weekend in Houston and look joining me now in studio Bay Area sports analyst Damon Bruce thanks for waking up early getting dressed and coming in it's good to be here we got to follow penguins though I that's, know. that's tough that's, that's a tough follow not an easy thing to follow at all well first of all we got to break down opening day I'm so glad baseball is back but the Giants bats Damon went silent on opening day against the Yankees that was tough in the Bronx can their lineup actually produce enough <laughs> this year to support their pitching well, the good news is, is no one is as bad as they look on opening day, and no one's probably as good as they look on opening okay. day. So the truth is somewhere in the middle, but the truth is also that's the worst opening day lineup the Giants have rolled out in 20 years. I mean, they, they shouldn't expect to put up a lot of runs. They're going to have to play tight, torture-filled baseball all year long. Logan Webb was fantastic. Was. Got no run support. He is filling out a resume in real time to be the modern-day Matt Kane. He's born to win 200 games, but won't get the run support to come even close to that. Did you call him the modern-day Matt Kane? Yes. Wow, that's quite a compliment. Yeah, well, that's the thing. He's fantastic, but he doesn't have a lineup behind him. Mm -hmm. Matt Kane should have won 100 more Major League games than he won in his career. But the Giants were dribbling out one or two run performances behind them. So uh, that feels like Logan Webb's going to run into a lot of those 12 strikeouts but still caught a loss games all year long. That is tough, though, for Giants fans considering the offseason. He sort of just wanted the season to be off to a good start, especially going against the Yankees. And Do you Aaron like that Judge. Aaron Judge home oh, run? Oh, God, no. Just I hated that it. Aaron Judge oh. home run. I was in the car with Jocelyn. We were talking about it earlier. I'm like, oh, this is not a good start to the season <laughs> at all. Okay, let's shift over to the A's. Obviously, there's a whole conversation about whether they're going to be sticking around in Oakland or not. Looks like things might, there's a little bit of a hope, a hope there if they don't go to Vegas. But as far as their play on the field yesterday, it was a much closer game against the Angels and, Sheho and Shohei Otani than we anticipated. The biggest story in baseball was in town with Shohei Otani. He goes from closing out the World Baseball Classic to starting opening day in Oakland, and he was spectacular. And what you saw from him is who he is. He is as dominant a pitcher as you'll see in baseball, who is on a team that is going to frustrate him, and hopefully yeah. this means he is coming to the Bay Area for a full-time job at some point down the road because you can already see the weakness of the Angels. Once again, it's driving in runs behind a world-caliber talent that feels like he's being wasted a little bit in Anaheim. So Is that even a possibility, though, Shohei could consider when he becomes a free agent coming to the Bay? Well, I mean, the Giants would actually have to sign a free agent for it to be a strong argument, True. right? Yeah, but, fair. yeah, it is a possibility. Okay. They are going to reach an event horizon where they're in between the year that they're about to have, next year looking forward. They, they have to be in the free agent business. There's just not enough talent in their own pipeline to lay out from big spending. You, Major League Baseball comes with Major League price tags, and the Giants are going to have to start issuing some or fall far behind the, the Dodgers, Dodgers, the Padres. The Padres. And my <laughs> sleeper team this year is the Arizona Diamondbacks. Really? Look out. Yes, they're okay. going to be frisky. All right, I'll keep my eye on that. All right, let's talk a little bit about March Madness Final Four. <laughs> Very sorry about your Hoosiers this year. Thank you, but I got a, I got a dog in the it. fight. You did? Okay. I got a dog in the fight. So Dusty May, the coach at... FAU okay. was a student manager under Bobby Knight at Indiana when I was there, as okay. a matter oh, of fact. Wow. So uh, there's always a Hoosier making a Final Four better. But I think it's UConn's tournament to lose now. The Huskies got to feel really good about where they are. They get past Miami on Saturday. I wouldn't be surprised to watch them cutting down the nets on Monday night. Sorry, I know there's a lot of San Diego yes, there is. state love in Absolutely. the Bay, but I, I, I think their road probably ends on Monday night. I would love to see FAU actually make the championship game. That would be remarkable. It would be. Well, and it's been a remarkable March Madness anyway with all the upsets and Cinderella stories. I was out about halfway through the first day. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too. I had no shot at all. Okay, really quick, let's talk about NBA and the dubs. The season is almost over, but I mean, I feel like the Warriors may be a little bit on the bubble. Are they making the postseason? Where do we sit right now, especially in the West? I think they do make the postseason. What happens in that postseason is as big of a coin flip as we've seen in the NBA in a really long time. If you told me that the Warriors bowed out early, I'd believe you. If you told me they defended their title somehow, I'd tell you that that could happen too. The NBA is wide open. The Warriors' margin for what they might be is also wide open. Does Andrew Wiggins play again? Right. When will they find that out? If he is part of the team 
the team has a legitimate puncher's chance in any series they might be in. If Wiggins doesn't play again, they're short stacked with him, without him, they're very short stacked against the league that mirrors a style of play which used to make them unique. Now everybody plays like the Warriors played a few years ago. So on. yeah, the, the, the trajectory of their aging team and the accelerating NBA is kind of at that cross point right now. And it'll be amazing if they hold on. It's been as a remarkable season of Warriors basketball, just in terms of interest, because they run so hot and cold. Every single time you look at them, uh, it, it's going to be a wide open and fun NBA playoffs for sure, and hopefully the Warriors shock us all. I hope so, too. I need some more basketball in my life. I'm not ready for it to end. I, I always need the basketball. Yes, me too. It is so nice to have you here to have this conversation. Damon and I worked together for years on radio, and you've got Damon Bruce Plus. <laughs> That's right. Damon Bruce Plus. And we got Disney Plus, Paramount Plus, Damon Bruce Plus. Let's call it the Plus. Let's call it the Damon Plus. Bruce Plus on YouTube. Please subscribe. We are growing an empire, and we are going to have an awful lot of fun. Can we put the band back together? We can put the band back together anytime. You're going to come back next week and talk a little Giants, and they're starting at home. Sounds they're not starting good. at home, but they'll have opening day at their home opener. Their home opener. Yes, on Thursday. We'll get the lingo right yes, before we get out there. It's still early. Should day. I bring the coffee? You bring in the coffee? Oh, we'll bring lots of coffee. Croissants? All the things and I'm bagels. In. All right. I'm in. Thanks for coming in, Damon. Good to see nice you. Nice to have you.